Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We're back with another One Take Bag Review, and I am thrilled today to bring you... Check this puppy out. <sighs> another Holy Grail backpack. This is the Tokai Resurgence. This is a Air City Pack collaboration with Carryology, and it is gorgeous! So you know that I geek out on backpacks and I was so delighted to see this was in the works and spoiler alert, it delivers. But let's dive into what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. So we're gonna get into a one take bag review here of the Tokai Resurgence Air City Pack. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of the outside of the bag, a full walkthrough of the inside, get into all the pockets, nooks, and crannies. At the end, we're gonna talk about two things that I love about this bag, two things that not so much, and then an overall review, should you buy this bag with the understanding that it's gonna be hard to get your hands on one of these suckers. But I know you wanna see it, so let's dive in. All right, so the front of this bag is white X-Pack. It is crisp and beautiful. You can see that they've gone with orange zipper pulls. Very simple here with minimal branding. Um, there is, uh, this is all the best, the best of the best material wise. This is all weather guard zippers. They're, they're really, really nice. E everything on these collaboration bags from Carryology and insert company name there of who they collaborate with. Um, everything's top notch. It's like, it is, it is a fever dream of backpack goodness. And I love that they're out there banging the drum for all of us who are bag geeks, um, just putting out some great stuff into the universe. Some of the collabs for me have fallen flat and haven't been worth the money. This one I think was reasonably priced. Um, and for you know what you get versus the regular city pack, which we're gonna talk about at the end of this video, um, I think you're getting your money's worth. Okay, so minimal branding down here with the Air and Carryology logos. You've got zipper pulls, um, zipper garages. This is kind of this rubberized material. Um, I forget what they call it, it begins with an H, but it's really nice. Um, you have a D-ring attachment point here. You have a water bottle holder on the side, and I have put my um, battery backup pack in there instead of a water bottle. Um, on this side, you have a grab handle made out of a padded seatbelt material, very nice. You have the same on the top up here. For the harness system itself, you have a very padded and ventilated back panel with an air channel and a luggage pass-through slash grab handle on the back. You have a D-ring attachment point on this side and then a sternum strap that has a magnetic release on it. Makes it easier to release when you are using the bag one-handed. Um, the harness system itself is very similar to what Air normally does on their city pack and the bag itself is insanely comfortable and kind of just sits perfectly on you for walking around the city. It's a good bag. And you're gonna see that theme come around throughout. Uh, you guys know if you've seen my review of the City Pack, the City Pack Pro, the comparison video of the City Pack and the City Pack Pro, you know I like this bag a lot, um, as is. So getting my hands on an upscale version of it, it's kind of a dream come, come true for me. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's dive in here. Are you ready for this? They went with camo on the inside of the bag. It, it is so cool. So if you got the, M, the, the black version of this, it has multicam black on the sides. This has Alpine camo on the sides. And then on the inside, it has multicam black. And on the black version, it's in the inverse. It has multicam Alpine on the inside. You can see here how I've got this set up. I've got my wallet here. Shout out to Blank Canvas Accessories. Um, I've got my blue light blocking glasses, pen, flashlight. Um, in this section right here, which is high contrast orange interior there, 
Um, I've used, set it up for a little bit of a med kit. You have a slip pocket down the back, just like in the regular city pack. And then this admin panel drops all the way down. And in there, I've put my gimbal and my tripod for the gimbal. Um, so just using that space all the way down. There is nothing on the front panel here. So that is the inside of the admin panel of the City Pack Carryology Collaboration. This front pack pocket down here, you can see, is um, lined with the Multicam Black. It has in here another key ring, key holder, and this key holder is magnetic. So I thought that was a really nice touch. So normally these key carabiners for me are kind of a waste because it's almost more annoying to use them than anything because the, the carabiner itself doesn't have any stretch in it. So I like when companies either include some stretch or make it quick detachable like this one is. So in this pocket, I've just tossed in my Go Everywhere gaming device so I can have it at a moment's notice. All right, that's not all. On the top, you have a really nice fleece lined sunglasses pocket. And I really like this pocket on the City Pack because instead of just being sunglass sized, it runs from here to here, so that big. And it is, let's say, what's the best way to give you the dimensions of this? Um, like four packs of cards, like a Nintendo D, there we go, like a Nintendo Switch sized compartment up top here. So more than just sunglasses. I dropped my AirPods in there. Um, and blue light blocking glasses. I don't really, I'm not a big sunglasses person, uh, but that's what I use mine for. All right, on the inside of this bag, you can see that the sunglasses pocket drops into the interior. When you lift that up, you have a little air tag holder on the inside. This is something that air incorporates into their bags. I really like it. On the front part, and fair warning, this does not zip all the way down. You can see it zips to here. And on this side, it zips a little bit less because of the water bottle holder. So what do you have on the inside here? Well, you have a really plush lined laptop holder. It fits up to a 16 inch laptop with no problems there. You also have a tablet sleeve. And then on the front section, there you go you have two pockets with elastic. I've got my cords in there and I've got my uh, plugs. So cords, plugs for the laptop and then just drop my Nintendo Switch down in the bottom. All right, so that is the bag and I'm thrilled with this thing. Now I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side between this and the regular City Pack um, in X-Pack from air. So what is different about this bag? Well, not a ton. Surprising, right? So this is already a great bag. There's not much that air had to do with Carryology to make it an insanely great bag. Um, this already has all the features that we just talked about, only a couple of differences. So the sternum strap on this bag is also magnetic. And on the inside here, the key ring on this one is not. Okay, so there's one tiny difference. The key carabiner on the inside of the front pocket is not magnetic on the regular one. When you open up this bag, you've got the same exact interior here, except this is in high vis orange, and this one is in the high contrast multicam black. So the materials are also different on the interior. So because they went with this um, really high strength multicam black material, it's a little bit stiffer than the floppy material that they went with on the inside of this one. So this is more sailcloth, more really stretchy and light on the inside. This is stiffer material on the inside. Same thing on the inside here, same exact bag. 
like no differences, no changes on the inside of the city pack for the uh, Tokai Resurgence. By the way, incredible name, means city or urban in Japanese. They went with kind of this, this theme of balancing practicality and understatedness with explosions or pops of funkiness, which I think is really well thought out and really cool. So you got different material for the zipper pulls and zipper garages on this bag, little tiny details. Um, everything else is built out in the same way. Um, so you shouldn't feel like if you didn't get the collab that you're being cheated with quality on the city pack. Um, you're not. I, I think it's an insanely good bag on its own. I prefer a wacky colorway as always. So I'm a fan of this one between the two, but only for the colorway. Not because it's a significantly life-changingly better bag. It, it's, ju it's just not. Um, it's not that different. Sometimes the collaborations with Carryology are crazy different. In this case, I was pleased to see that they were a little bit reserved and they made a very similar bag. All right, two things we love about the bag. Well, the first thing is the crazy, funky, cool colorway they went with. They went the extra mile, right? They could have just made this white X-Pack and it would have stood out from what Air normally does. It really would have. And they could have just gone white X-Pack with an orange interior and it would have sold really well. I think going the extra mile of the Alpine camo on the sides of the bag and the multicam black in the admin section really make this a, a unique bag and a collector's item and something that, uh, sorry if you were hoping I was gonna sell it, that I'm not gonna sell and I'm gonna hang on to for a long time. This is gonna be my daily driver for a while outside of when I'm testing other bags. Um, I'm in love with this thing. I already thought this was one of the top two or three backpacks on the market right now, just in terms of usability and everyday um, just comfort and not overdoing. It, it does what it does incredibly well and it doesn't overdo it. Same here, does what it does incredibly well, doesn't overdo it. Um, does overdo the style, which is the first thing that I love about it. The second thing that I love about it is the same as you're gonna hear in the Air City Pack review that I did, which is this admin panel is the best in the industry. This front pocket is insanely good. It really just is just about perfect. The only one that I think comes close is the combination front pockets on the VanQuest, the VanQuest AdX 25, um, which is also really top line. So love the interior of the front panel. Let's talk about two things that I wish they had done a little bit differently on this collab, um, that if I had been given the keys to the kingdom on this thing, what would I have done a little bit differently? Okay. Just a couple of things. The first thing I would have done differently is I would have added some differentiation here versus the regular city pack. So on the regular city pack, nothing on the front panel. On the Tokai collab, nothing on the front panel. I think you could have, because there's nothing on the front of this either, you could have added a zippered pocket here with some mesh just for some added functionality um, without bulking this out too much. So I think I would have added a zippered mesh pocket on the front inside of that. Um, so just a little something. The next one is a little bit more extreme. Okay. So hear me out on this. If you're really going to differentiate this bag, I think what they could have done is done the city pack pro instead. So this is the city pack pro. The key differentiator in the city pack pro versus the city pack is the separate laptop pant pocket. So I think what they could have done is gone crazy with air and made a city pack pro with the front admin pocket of the city pack, because really where the city pack pro falls short versus the, the actual, um, city pack in my mind is that they have this kind of abbreviated top panel here, um, versus the full admin section. So this is the admin section on the city pack pro. This is the gorgeous admin section on the city pack. So if they had really wanted to go crazy, they could have built out 
a city pack as a city pack pro so adding a separate laptop compartment to the back that would have made this a dream bag hell it's already a dream bag that would have gone over the top crazy like drooling i i will never pick up another backpack in my life kind of stuff um, but i got to give a shout out to the to the folks at air and to the good folks at carryology um, nice work this is an epically good bag should you buy it? Well, here's the problem. This sold out in 60 seconds. So if you're going to buy it, you're going to buy it secondhand and you might get gouged on price. So as with all these collabs, if you got the money and you want the bag, you can go after it and you can get it. Uh, but be prepared to pay up. This was around 300 bucks original retail. Um, they're probably going to be going for $450 to $600, um, which, is it worth it? No, absolutely not. It's not. Um, so, <sighs> I hate to say that. It is worth what they were charging originally. But if you missed it, you might have missed it. Keep your eyes on the secondhand market. In a year or so, you might be able to get this bag. For now, I hope you really enjoyed getting a chance to check out this bag, walk through it and um, get kind of a hands-on with the bag itself. If you have any questions about the bag that I did not cover, please drop those in the comments. And as always, thank you for your support. Like the video if you liked the video. Share the video if possible. And if you're new here, please subscribe. We're always checking out unique bags and uh, I hope, I hope you really enjoyed this review. All right, you guys, this was a special one for me. Uh, I hope that you loved it, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.